Hello and welcome. Uh, quick little update. As I just finished playing the uh, Bella and DGB game, my last video will give you instructions on how to download it. And how I started this off was, was in late February 2015 is when this data starts. And the amount of coins I started this game off was Bella 39,500, DGB 7,400, and at the time that was worth two dollars. Point zero zero four three eight six Bitcoin. In playing the game through, I played this very aggressively. A lot of trades. In fact, I'm going to go show, go through my list. This one didn't get completed, and. Well, some of—I mean—they were just the early trades that didn't mean much because the numbers did get bigger, and there were a lot more completed as well. Yeah, here's a bunch more, bunch more. Oh, there was a lot. Yeah, there was. Uh, that's it. But uh, I wanted to do this to see what kind of score I can make, because I—I never did it like this before where I played this game and I go extreme amount of trades. Literally, not pushing the 5 button, but pushing the enter every single time. And then on any given day, if I thought there was a time to make whatever type of trade, I would do such. The information on how to download this cross and all my others are my previous video. But as it completed, I finished the game off within a... Uh, a bell account of 457,930. I started this game off with 39,500. That was a gain of, uh, well, 12 times, 13 times. And DGB, 7,400. Uh, got that number up to 1,605,400. That would be about 150, better than 150 times. Excuse me, better than 200 times higher, rather. That's pretty darn near impressive. The value of the coins back when this started would have been $2. This is allowance you give to 6-year-olds and 7-year-olds type currency. And obviously, increasing the stakes, you start with 20 bucks, then it becomes a really interesting issue doing that. So let's get into the numbers. What were these coins worth at the end of this game? Because it, it ended actually when Bella pretty much stopped trading, which would have been in the summer of 2018 or about uh, 9 to 10 months ago. And at that point in the game, the values would have been quite phenomenal. Four the coins were worth about 450 Satoshi each. Now the f price goes down to one. I don't know why it didn't do it, but the uh, the next day it's, it just didn't do it. I don't know. I, mean, I, I, think I, I, know, I think I know how I could fix it, I think, but it went down to 0 0.99 and the price was like yeah, 450 -ish Satoshi on that day. So how many of those coins be worth? Well, 1.6 million plus a little over 450. That's about uh, uh, two million and like 50 th over 50 thousand. So hair over two million. So we'll do uh, put that number in, and about 450, I think. Or I remember, research was the price. In fact, I should be able to come up with it and see it here. Yep, 458, 430. So we'll just, we'll do the 450 number. The value at that time was 9.225 Bitcoin. So in the game, it's a pretty decent accomplishment. In less than three years, excuse me, a little over three years rather, to turn 0 0.0. 04386, excuse me, 0 0.08772 into 9.22. 
that would be about a little over 1,000 times the gain. But it goes even higher on the dollar term because that was when Bitcoin prices were 228. And if we, back when you started, and, and last summer the prices were like in the 6,300 range when the data for this completed, which meant the value would have been about well over 50 grand. So to turn two dollars into fifty grand becomes realistic type of features when you try to creatively do it in the game. Now I, I used a cr a cross in Bella that was extremely uh, hyper aggressively high volatile, and that was probably one of the big reasons, along with its setup at the time, when I why I originally got into it, among such. But this one started off uh, in the pennies, like 0 0.2, 0 0.18. Then it goes up to like 300 or 400, and then it went back down here to 1. So just your normal extreme volatility, but extreme volatility brings extreme profits. And again, I like the using these types of uh, programs here. And I think it's an advantage for anybody trying to get into, trying to use my strategy. This will help you practice it over and over again so that when the time is there, which is after, like days after you do it and everything goes in play, you'll be familiar with different situations, what to do. You what, know what to do when you get four or five sell orders in a row. How did you handle it? And when you play these over, okay, yeah, maybe I should have done this. Let me redo the game or play another and maybe focus on changing the strategy and not selling so much here or trying to sell more here at this particular price point or waiting for lower prices, all those types of things. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.